Hey everyone, it's Fisley ActiveGames.com here, and this week I'm going to Druidom Camp. And basically, it's a camp revolved around the Skype writing class called Druidom. And it's going, to, I'm really, really excited because I've met with um, everyone that's coming to this week over Skype, and I've never seen them in person before. So I'm really excited to actually be like, you're a real, you're a real person. But yeah, um, so it seems really, really exciting. I'm really excited for the activities we're doing. I'm not sure what they are, but I've heard that there's a bunch of really cool writing activities and a lot of um, live action role playing. So yeah, it seems really fun. Okay, so after Presley's um, writing camp today, we're going to go to like a barbecue. A lot of the people have come from out of town to go to this, so there's going to be a barbecue at someone's house. And so we are going to make our gluten-free mac and cheese, which is what we usually bring to play things like this. And it's pretty simple. Um, it's also corn-free, so no cornstarch, because Cooper can't have corn, right, Cooper? Mm -hmm. So basically, it's really simple. You just need butter, tato starch, milk, gluten-free elbow macaroni, oh, and geez. cheese. We always use Tillamook cheddar. That's our favorite. And this one's already out of the bag. <laughs> we buy it in a big block. So first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 375. Then I'm going to go ahead and drop my noodles because they gluten-free pasta takes a little bit longer. Okay, so now I'm going to make basically a roux. Um, I just use potato starch instead of flour or cornstarch. And so just kind of equal parts butter and equal parts potato starch. So Cooper is grating cheese because we need lots of cheese and yeah, mac and cheese, don't yeah, we? Yeah, and all, and when I have uh, eggs, I hold it like a weight waist, and I always crack the eggs, and I always grate the cheese, so I always grate cheese. I think we're gonna need a little more than that, though. So yeah, keep going. I'm not actually done. We're just doing a cheese update, so let's go back to what Mommy's doing. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is just add a couple of cups of milk to the roux. We have no cheese update. Here's the update. Okay, there's our cheese update. Okay, keep going. It's way right here. So it's way right, like have gone through the so it's up way right here to this line. So I, I think we need it to there. We may need two of those. Two and, cups. Okay, so we're at, I think it's supposed to go to this line right here. Mm -hmm. And it's only at this line right here. So we're definitely need more C's. We'll do another C's update in a minute. We're also going to add a pretty decent amount of salt. Oh, we need salt? It, this can be a little bland. That's the way the kids like it, but definitely need some salt. Okay, so now I'm at, I added a bunch of salt to here, and now I'm just going to kind of cook this down a little bit while the uh, pasta continues to boil. Yeah. And okay. let's go over here for a cheese update. Yes, we are. So, in my socking bowl that I got from a socking, they said it's probably at Toy R Us or Target. I don't think it's out, oh, but you pop, but it's from the We set. got it at it's, Target. And yes, we got it at Target. I don't think it's so out, but but you can get it. It's from my one, I always do it for cereal. It's from it, so we have it in the socking bowl that so I always So that's one cereal. cup of cheese that yeah. Party did, and now we're working on the second cup yeah. of cheese. Okay, so now I dumped the noodles and the milk uh, mixture, and now we're just gonna add a ton of cheese, and yeah. then put it in the oven. Cheese update. All cheese right. update. Let's dump it in, Cooper. Dump it in. Oh. Yes. Okay, so this one I'll just kind of incorporate into everything, and then the last cup we'll just put over the top. Now we've got it in the oven and just let it cook for like 30 minutes or so, and then it'll be all done. And uh, really easy, yummy, not dairy-free, but gluten-free uh, meal that we can take places. So bye, guys. I definitely, I uh, this is just gonna um, take a second in the oven. So I'm gonna go watch some videos. Bye. Okay, and here is our finished mac and cheese, and we are heading off to the barbecue. 
Okay, so we, I just got done with Druid on Camp, and it was really, really fun. Um, I got to see everyone that I talked to in person, and I was like, you all have faces, you're real, you're alive. And yeah, um, we're having a bunch of time, time, fun, we're doing different storylines we wrote. We mostly talked about what were the rules for the RPG today, but um, we practiced for a little bit, and then we went on quests. Um, I got one, one of my friends um, actually got to lead the group that I was questing in, which was pretty nice. But yeah, it was a great time. I'm super excited to do it again tomorrow. We had a really, really great time. We just got done with a barbecue at one of my friend's house. And we'll put a link in the description to Druid on for where you can sign up. It's mostly a Skype class, but you can come to camps here in Colorado if you want to. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.